Tomorrow is World Stroke Day, and in our Health Watch report, Local 3's Connie Fellman introduces us to a woman who is sharing her story to help increase awareness. I recently traveled a bit north of Green Bay to meet a Peshtigo woman who is not only a stroke survivor, but has an amazing story of grace. Your grace has brought me safe thus far. Mary Lee Radke has a lot to sing about these days. Just better all the time. She loves peaceful walks outdoors with her husband Gary near the country home they've shared for nearly 60 years. It's a beautiful place to walk. But a simple stroll down the lane was out of the question just over a year ago. I got up during the night. That's when Radke awoke to find she couldn't even manage a walk to the restroom on her own. I was sitting and when I got up to leave, I went to my knees. Radke didn't know it at the time, but she was having a stroke. Time is the most important thing. Getting to the hospital. Something her husband knew instinctively. He said, we better go to the hospital. The Radkes rushed to the nearest hospital in Marinette, where her doctor immediately recognized the symptoms. He came back, he, came, he said, we're going to send you to Green Bay, you're having a stroke. Aurora Baycare Medical Center interventional neurologist, Dr. Zia Darkabani, was ready and waiting when the Radkes arrived. After evaluation, he performed a thrombectomy. He went into my left side of my brain and took the clot out. The surgery was a success, but when Mary woke up, she was unable to speak. So the doctor made what may seem like an unusual request. He asked her to sing. I vaguely remember singing. Still unable to talk, Radke started singing the hymn Amazing Grace without a problem. Melodic intonation therapy. And so sometimes even when a person can't talk at all, can't say their name, they retain the ability to sing. Megan Risto, senior speech and language pathologist with Aurora Baycare, explains why. That's because language is primarily a left brain function, but singing and music are typically right brain functions. Over the next few months, Radke worked oh intensively goodness. with Aurora Baycare's speech therapy team. They came, oh, several months, a couple of times a week, and they were so great. They were really nice. Building on what she had to achieve what she wanted. If you're able to sing, we kind of gradually transition it into more normal functional speech through therapy. Until Radke once again found her voice. And I have, I have, oh, you can tell by talking to me. And started feeling like herself again. I'm a talker, I talk all the time. My husband says that's my worst thing. I talk all the time. Her husband now says he can't get enough of her talking. Radke credits her remarkable recovery to several things. The care she received at Aurora Baycare's Comprehensive Stroke Center at the top of her list. The people at the hospital were great to me too. They were wonderful. Plus the support of family and friends. That support, that's very important. Her own determination. I didn't want to quit. And above all, that amazing grace. And grace will bring me home. If you suspect someone is having a stroke, remember to act fast. Health experts say to call 911 right away and to tell the operator you think it could be a stroke. That can help paramedics and the hospital with preparation. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.